Hey everybody, back with some more Guardians of Orion here on the channel today. I'm once again joined by the Mighty Blue Orthodox, and we are going to be checking out some Slaughter gameplay with the new Pyro class on the Outback map, plus some survival gameplay with the new Tech class on the Summit map. Also going to be giving you our thoughts on the current state of the game. Without further ado, let's get this party started. So what do you think about the difference between this version and the launch version that we played back when it first hit Early Access? I would have to say the loot, the fact that they actually have the loot in the game now, because I don't remember that being something in the initial launch. I think that's pretty cool. I like, right off the bat as well, the third person view I think does a lot for this game. I think people who are fans of the prelude are going to look at that feature and probably start navigating back toward the game because maybe people were kind of turned away from the top-down view or whatever, but I feel like now that the third-person view's in and it's implemented very well, just from the little bit that I played, I'd say they're definitely going in the right direction. I definitely am a big fan of the third person, and the more of it that I play, I find the less compelled I am to return to the top-down view, mostly because I just like being able to see further. I think that's the number one thing for me with the difference between the two. I've never really been a huge fan of top-down games to begin with, but I do feel like this game does top-down as well or better than any other game that I've played. So I definitely don't consider it a failing of the game. I think the game actually does the top-down perspective spectacularly well. It's just that given the choice for me, I tend to prefer that first or third person point of view 99 times out of 100 by default. So a game has to be pretty amazing in the top-down perspective for me to actually want to put the time into it. And I feel like this is definitely a game that I would play top-down if there was no choice. But given that the third person is so well executed, I see that as being the mode that I typically play this game in for the most part. And again, like you said, the range, being able to just see and look at the environment more up close, I feel like does this game a huge service. Because that was often one of the things that I liked about the previous game, too, was look, being able to look at the environments close up, because I feel like the environments and the maps were always pretty to look at. I think it speaks volumes about the quality of the assets in the game, that they do stand up really well to that closer level of scrutiny. I've seen a few things in third person that I think were maybe a bit sketchy. Most of it's been particle effect stuff. I know I was playing the pyro character a little bit today, and whenever I would engage the flamethrower, I felt like that didn't necessarily look fantastic from the third person, just because it was so bright and there was so much bloom on the lighting for it that it kind of had a tendency to overpower everything else on the screen and made it difficult to see what you were aiming at and really appreciate the things that you were frying getting fried, <laughs> I guess for lack of a better term. But I think that's something that could easily be adjusted. Maybe that's just a little tweak to the effects on that. I feel like sometimes the lighting and the particle effects and stuff like that feel like they're tuned a little bit more for that top-down perspective. So they don't work as well for me when you get down close to them. They become a little bit overwhelming or a little bit too intense. But other than that, I think the detail in the assets the character models and the gun models and the enemy models and all that stuff is definitely on point and definitely holds up well zoomed into that third-person perspective. I feel like a sci-fi game, you need to have good art assets to really make the player feel like they're there. I think what these games, going all the way back to Dino Beatdown, have always done really well is created an identity through their visual language. When you see an Orion game, you know that it's an Orion game because of the art style and the way things are presented and done. And I feel like they've done a very good job in this game of amping everything up to that next level of quality while still retaining the charm and the sort of unique aesthetics that they established in the previous games. Absolutely. And I'm a huge fan of that. I like when a game developer goes the extra mile and puts in 
little things to keep that immersion factor up and to also add to the world building. That's something that I continue to come back to this game for. I'm in that mood to be put back into that Orion world. The gameplay and the game world really helps sell that immersion for me. The only other thing I wanted to talk about was the price drop. As of right now, you can actually pick up this game on Steam for 2 bucks in early access, and I think that's a steal, if you ask me. If you ever had any inclination of trying this game out or picking it up at some point in the early access process, to get a game of this quality and with the potential that this game has and seeing the work that's already been put into it over these first couple of months of early access, to not pick this game up for two bucks would just be crazy. Oh yeah, absolutely. I feel that too. I feel that. And I feel like already uh, over most early access games, this already has a leg up on it for being able to play it for an extended period of time. And this game isn't finished, but at the same time, I mean, again, for two bucks and the level of polish that it already has, they are quality developers. They're not going to leave this game in the dust, collect the money, and run. They're developers of their word, and I honestly just can't wait to see where they go from here. Now seeing what they've done with the two new classes, I think the two new classes are awesome. Inventory system is really cool. I'd like to see what they can do more with that in future patches. I think overall, again, for two bucks, it's a steal. It's a steal. Yeah, for sure. I know their motivation for making that price change was due to the sluggish sales that this game has seen so far in early access, but I hope that maybe as a result of the price drop and more people putting out content covering the game that will encourage more people to check it out and maybe they'll be able to get some more money to extend what they want to do with it. Because having seen their plan for how they've rescoped the game based on how it's performed thus far, I think that what they're going to end up with as a final feature set for the game is still very good, still very desirable. I feel like I'm going to have gotten my money's worth out of this game once it's finished, given that new scope. But it would be nice if they could take it even further based on getting some additional sales or getting some additional revenue from it. Even if they only do what they've now committed to do in the new scope, I still think this is going to end up being a fantastic game when it's all said and done. And it would be a real shame if more people didn't get to see and experience and play it because I do think it's easily if not already, certainly has the potential to be the best thing these guys have done so far. Agreed. Agreed. I feel like if anybody deserves it, it's these guys. They've been awesome to their fans, awesome to customers, really listened to feedback, and they're realistic. I think just the fact that they rescoped alone after seeing their initial early access sales says something about these guys, that they, they understand what business they're in, Having said all that, I think that's going to bring this video to a close. I'd like to thank Max, the Mighty Blue Orthodox, for joining me once again. I will have a link to his channel in the description box down below. Any final thoughts, Max? I'd say just support these guys. Again, for two bucks, it's definitely something to get in on before it does get finished, and they do put it at a higher price. If you haven't played any of these guys' games yet, I'd say go out and play them. They're worth it. As always, if you have enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you'd like to see more from me in the future, be sure to hit subscribe, and I will see you next time. Requesting backup! Alright, I've got one.